Everybody is self-quarantining right now. A lot of people are in isolation. And that brings up a delicate matter, which is the matter of sex, being sexually healthy and stimulated uh, in this quarantined environment, in isolation. I thought I would go to an expert, a professional sex therapist, Dr. Emily Morse. Hi, Emily. How are you? Oh, it's a really good time to be quarantined right now and to if, if you have to be and to deal with your partner and sex because of technology. Are you talking about um, sexy phone calls, sexy texts? Is that what you're talking about? I'm talking about sexting. Here's my number one rule. You got to make sure that someone's available, right? You don't know who else is going to see their phone. What if someone's around? But if they're alone, you can just say, a great thing is I can't stop thinking about you. I can't stop thinking about you. I used to try that line a lot. And it very rapidly got into stalker territory. You know, I would say, I can't stop thinking about you. I know where you live. I went by your place last night. Um, I smelled your mail. What about like, oh, I'm all covered in baby oil. Do people like that? How about this? Right now, I'm picturing rubbing oil on your back. And you're arching your back. And, and it, feels, it feels so good. And I'm, I'm, getting, I'm getting to the low back. I'm working on... Um, between the L4 and L5, uh, there's, you've had some tightness there in the past and I'm, I'm trying to uh, break up the fascia. When you get a dick prick, for example, nobody's sitting there going, oh, I, three o'clock on a Monday, even in quarantine going, I wish I got a dick prick right now. Is a dick prick ever appropriate? Because what I've always heard from women is they don't like the look of a penis. They think uh, it's not big enough. There's too much red pubic hair. Uh, it, it swings wildly for some reason to the right. Uh, it looks scarred. Those are the things that some of us are hearing. Mm -hmm. Freckled, my, I've tried to get the face in with the penis and I don't, yeah. I'm not flexible enough. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah, I hear you. That's why you know what might be good for you then is the video, is video chat. Because then you can, you can pan down the whole thing. You got to work on the angles and the lighting. I need really good lighting. Really uh, good. Yeah, yeah, it's been an issue. Yeah. Um, there's people I can't see it. Where is it? It blends with the leg. You get a lot of dick pics. Yeah, I mean, I have like a team of people who are like stopping the dick pics. Yeah, because it's sex. You literally have a team of people who are penises are coming at you like missiles in some 1980s video game. And you have people that are swatting them away to protect you from incoming and... And I want to talk to you a little bit about emojis. Um, what emojis are common to stimulate a sexual conversation? Again, this is all by preference, but I believe that people like the eggplant or the banana for the penis. Um, people like the, there's the water for the ejaculate. Uh, a pussy cat references the vagina in some places. It's I will say I'm I'm glad that you brought up you clarified the cat because I did think once that I was supposed to go have sex with our cat. Yeah. Okay. And See, that. A lot. Yeah. Well, the cat cat got away. Uh, it was a mess. Yeah. I'm also curious okay. about sex toys. So this is a vibrator. They're wonderful for men and for women, and it works with your phone. It's a Wee Vibe. And you use your phone, you launch it, and you can just control this vibrator from anywhere in the world. I'm sorry, I need help here, so. I, I got you, that's why we're here. I understand where it would go for a woman, but that shape, how does that work for a guy? It feels amazing on your shaft, uh, your, all over your body. It's interesting you say that because I used to get aroused uh, on the Macy's escalator. Uh, and I realized only much later on, uh, and security explained this to me, it's the vibrations. You know, they, they were kind enough to talk me through it as they uh, ejected me from Macy's. This one, this goes around your penis, now that we're getting specific. I, they make like a bunch of them. So this one, it's one size fits most. You'll be fine. Wait, so that goes around the penis. You're at the store. And all of a sudden, I can just launch this, and I can vibe you. This is on you, and I'm, and I'm. It starts to move. It starts to vibrate, and it's the best trip to the grocery store you've ever had. Uh, I'll get specific here, but were I to have an orgasm in a grocery store, I think it would be very upsetting for a lot of people. 
Uh, should it should we be discouraging people from orgasming uh, while they're trying to pick out which uh, freeze dried risotto to get? Yes, I, I, I wasn't going to bring you to orgasm here. I just it's a little titillation. But I tend to get there very quickly. I mean, literally, all you'd have to do is just yeah. text me one hashtag, and if that thing just fired for a second, I'd be spinning around like a three stooge on the floor. You know what I'm saying? Yes. <laughs> I'm a huge proponent of masturbation and self pleasure always. It's like all the time. I mean, what about civilization would crumble if we just did it all the time? We need to farm. We need to uh, get goods to the stores. It's actually good for us. Orgasms. They all you release all the feel good hormones that actually improve your mood, your your boost your immunity. Dr. Fauci has been on the air talking to everybody about what to do during this quarantine. He never brings up masturbation. Wow. And I've called CNN many times while he's on the air and tried to get a question in about pleasuring myself, and they never let me through. And I feel like Fauci is sending the wrong message. He should be talking to us about masturbating, about putting vibrating. Uh, you know, uh, machines into our pants. And I think the fact that he isn't uh, is really a national crime. And I think he should be prosecuted. Uh, Dr. Emily Morse, uh, thank you very much. And um, this was a delight. And maybe I'll check in with you later on uh, in, in the coming weeks Ooh, or maybe in an hour or so. Just <laughs> uh, I got you. I, yeah, I might just drive by. Yeah. All right, I'm a creep, but you're wonderful. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me.